A double cancer diagnosis. Now, that would quickly turn any family's life around. For one mother and daughter, it hit right at the height of the pandemic. J.C. Miller found out she had stage one breast cancer. Shortly after that diagnosis, her mom learned she had breast cancer, too. Now, both of them are sharing their journey with Damani Lewis from our sister station in Charlotte in hopes of helping others. The old saying goes, you're only as strong as your weakest link. Meet Belmont residents Jill Atkins and her daughter, J.C. Miller. She's a bowl in a china shop, too. After five minutes of sitting down with them, you'll realize there's nothing breaking their bond after what they've been through. God had that all orchestrated for us. Like he knew that we were going to need each other. It was spring of 2020. The pandemic just started and everything was shutting down. JC, a teacher and mother of three boys, turned 40 and wanted to get her first mammogram, but didn't because she couldn't. You know, in those months until like May or June, everything was closed unless you felt a lump or unless you and I didn't. So I didn't have my mammogram until the following year. When she went for the mammogram, she was called back for a biopsy after doctors detected these small grape like images on her scans. Days later, while on vacation, she received the news no woman wants to hear. It was not benign. It was cancer. At the time, I knew that I had a lump, <clears throat> and, but mine had been, I'd been told it was benign, and I'm thinking, why is mine benign, but hers is not? So it was tough. It was tough. It hurt a lot, but I knew that I had to be strong for her. JC turned to Novant Health's medical director of surgical oncology, Dr. Peter Turk, looking for answers. Through genetic testing, Dr. Turk discovered JC's cancer wasn't found on her mother's side, instead her father's side, and she was diagnosed with invasive lobular cancer, found in 15% of women. What's treacherous about them is they are sneaky. They don't necessarily form the breast lump that you hear if you have cancer. JC's cancer is aggressive, if not caught early. Did that mammogram save her life? It probably did. After learning what she was up against, JC did what her mom always taught her. She taught us how to face things head on. And she did, opting for a double mastectomy, which included several months of rigorous radiation and chemo. Losing her hair, but never missing sight of who she was fighting for her three boys. While JC was in her own battle, another war was brewing. Jill went for her own routine mammogram, worried her benign tumor was growing. Doctors didn't take long to confirm what Jill feared. She was diagnosed with a rare form of breast cancer found in one in 1,000 women. Like, like a double gut punch, you know, and it's hard, but I can't let my kids know how hard it is. Jill, the family's matriarch, now needing help of her own. But despite her diagnosis, like any mom would, she still focused on her baby getting better. It's really strange, but it was more like, I've got to take care of her first. That's the mom, I guess. Dr. Turk would eventually treat Jill as well, ultimately performing a mastectomy on both breasts. With JC now stronger, finishing chemo and radiation, ringing her victory bell, she now transformed from patient to caregiver. JC does this to me. She says, Mom, you are going to, mm -hmm. and she tells me what I'm going to do. Wow. Because it's whatever is best for her. Today, they're both healthy and can now reflect on the dark road neither wanted to walk down. Having cancer makes you automatically love a little deeper, appreciate the small things a little more. And that was Damani Lewis reporting for us.